appreciate you guys being here. So one question that we had was with incorporating like the Microsoft APIs into Unity, um, we can't install the packages for some reason. You're trying to use it directly from Unity? We're actually doing it in C-sharp. So um, Unity compiles a HoloLens uh, Visual Studio project. If we try to install on Unity, then it gives us error that you have multiple... Um, yeah, multiple packages yeah. or multiple assembly references. I don't I know. I need to see code for these kinds Yeah, of I think we'd need to actually get what you're trying to do, like get a copy of it and see if we can repro it here. So while they're working on that, Dusty and I, the, the fabrication team, uh, we were wondering if any sort of cameras or anything like that, that absolutely cannot be blocked. Because, you know, we're putting the HoloLens inside of like a helmet. So we want to make sure nothing that needs to be seeing the world is blocked. So it has four tracking cameras on it. The two front ones are required to be seeing the world. It, tracking in theory will work with the two side ones blocked, but it needs the two front ones to see the world at the same time so it can get a stereo baseline of the distance away that points are between those two. And if you want any sort of hand tracking from it, you need the emitters and the uh, infrared camera to be exposed. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Again, we yeah. greatly appreciate this. Little surprise, you guys all know the bat signal, <laughs> but get ready for the hack signal. Ooh. 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 Yes. So, what do we got? What do we got? I was actually debugging the computer vision, okay. so we are still trying to uh, fix the bugs. So actually, we worked on uh, three things yesterday. Nothing is like... working today because of uh, the certificate error he, he has right now. Yes. So, these? the basic UI is done, it's not linked with the code yet, but okay. we have it. Then um, the face detection is working, and what you just saw was uh, computer vision. Okay. Then we have the weather data, um, and then we are still moving forward, but we have still things left behind. I don't know. I felt like we would have <laughs> so much more done. Like I want to put the pressure on, but boop, there's the pressure. He finished the database yesterday, and it was working completely. But as soon as we deploy, tried to deploy on Hololens, um, we found out that what we are trying to do it's not compatible. I'm gonna go check in the fab team. Is we got our first draft of the 3D model done. I imported it to a different program that basically laid it out into a template that we could cut out of the foam. So we printed out the templates for the helmet. So today what our plan is, is to take these pieces and trace them out onto foam, cut them out, and we will have, hopefully, our first draft of the foam helmet. These templates are quite a bit smaller than what they need to be. I, did, I couldn't tell the scale until we actually got them printed out. And as you can probably tell, it's uh, probably not gonna be big enough. So instead of using this one to cut out on top of the foam, we're gonna use this one to actually put it together in 3D so that we can see if this looks stupid or not. And then after we get that, we're gonna use this one to actually cut out on the foam. So everything that we said earlier, we're actually gonna do now, <laughs> once we're done with this. Yeah, no, I don't think this is gonna put us too much behind schedule. All right, let's just, let's just cut this out. What are you guys doing? We are... Cutting paper. We're not making a paper helmet, right? We are not making, we are not paper, making helmet. a paper helmet. Okay. <laughs> we are making a rough draft foam helmet. So before we 3D print the final one, we're gonna make kind of our first draft of it to make sure everything's gonna fit correctly. And be the right size. Like a template. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's our paper templates for the foam helmet. I fully acknowledge that that is a necessary step. However, 3D printing takes a long time. Will we have enough time? I think Absolutely. so. I th okay. And because we're doing it with foam first and we're not doing all of our drafts 3D printed, yeah, that's going to save us that's... time. Yeah. I'm basically Batman, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that what we're doing is we're taking conductive thread and we're going to sew it in. So instead of using thick wires to wire things up, mm -hmm. it's basically just going to be wired through that. Oh. So that should save some room for the helmet. Well, um, like I told the UI team, pressure. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. I'm trying to do this speech-to-text recognition. I'm Batman. I am the knight. 
Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Oh my. Ah, I didn't press save. Oh, I'm Batman. It got, I'm, I'm back, I'm Batman, and then as its result, it said, I'm Batman. So, um, we have the complete setup for Vision, and everything is working in Unity. And it's the same issue that it's not taking picture in all of this. The same code works in Unity, I don't see any problems for not working in Unity. And now it says, a man wearing glasses and looking at the camera. Confidence, uh, 75%. And then um, with this, um, just a few changes, we'll be able to get faces, faces descriptions, and all those things. So he was trying to build the database for criminals. Yeah, so in Unity, all my stuff works. I can press play, and it'll work. But if we try to build it, it doesn't work. So now we have to find a workaround for the workaround we already found. We are like this close right now. <laughs> the backend is coded already. If they get back with the solution, we'll pretty much have everything. We already built the city, we are just waiting for the power. Okay, so we have the paper model done, but basically we're gonna have two parts, one that goes on the back, one that goes on the front, <laughs> and then they'll both uh, snap together using the magnets that we have, and it will form the full helmet. It's not horrible. Our actual one, because we had some scaling issues, is gonna be 13 inches tall, thus the whole thing's gonna be wider. <laughs> um, the hollow lens will fit inside there, and then the visor will be kind of right out here. Yeah. When we look inside, this is how the hollow lens is going to be fitting in there. What we did is we measured it to uh, to fit around it when it's on, so that way we don't try and put it on and it's pushing tight against it. So our original plan was to make this out of foam and then basically 3D model our final thing. What we think will be quicker and actually be more efficient is we make our foam one, we add in all the details we like, we make it look nice, and then we just 3D scan that Basically, we would just be taking our foam model and just upgrading it to the proper material. So by the time we get back, we will definitely have some uh, foam model done that we can put stuff in. So it's working. Gave me a, a long string saying that there's a person, indoor sitting, young table. So it's pretty much describing what it's looking at. Now we have the data in there. I will just have to uh, make it look good. So at least we have the computer vision working. We hacked too hard. We already have speech to text working. He was working on it. Uh, now this is um, vision to text. Yeah. It's his language English. And then you can see all those phrases written in the string value. So you can look at something and that will be converted into a text with uh, a prediction of what language it is. So now Batman can hear in other languages and then he can read something in different language. The next time we meet, we'll be able to demo it. Okay, good luck guys. <laughs> no pressure, but Hacksmith is coming. All right. So we have our UI team working on some things and the fab team working on some things, but they seem confident that they're gonna be able to get everything done. I'm a little nervous, but I think they're gonna be able to do it. Well, they have to do it, right? Cause I mean, the hacksmith is coming so soon and I wanna be able to show him something, be like, hey James, look at this cool thing we worked on. Hey! <laughs> How's it going? Good. Good. You remember when I was like real, real proud of you guys for like accomplishing so much? Yeah. I'd take that back. Oh. We don't have test images of her. Fire at will. I don't see anything yet. Yeah, me either. It looks like the Hacker Labs team got so much accomplished this episode, but we're only getting started. Keep up with the adventure and follow the journey. Hit like and subscribe. Click on that bell below, turn on notifications, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>